Yes. Mr. Bettman, Brendan Shanahan, and a Mr. Genius to see you. Shani, good to see you. Hey, Gary, how are you? Hey there. Hey, how are you? Will, or is it Mr. Genius? I'm just kind of trying to add a new name to see if people are drawn to it. Will wanted to meet you, and I said I'd bring him by. Uh, he's got a few ideas. Ideas about hockey and stuff, mainly hockey. I just thought, you know, genius, don't tell us about your ideas. Write them down. So that's what I did. And I thought, you know, I would be a really great addition over here at the NHL. Maybe you could make me, I don't know, just off the top of my head, VP of hockey ideas and stuff. There's no office of hockey ideas and stuff. Not yet. I'm sorry, does this say wolves? Yes, wolves. In overtime, just in the regular season, <laughs> I'm not crazy, we would release a pack of wolves out onto the ice, like snarling, really, maybe rabid. And if the score is still tied after five minutes, we release a polar bear. Oh, you know what? Um, this is this is a genius idea. I mean, they're all genius, of course, but when somebody loses a face-off, the loser then has to undergo face transplant surgery, and then they take on the physical attributes of a ruthless terrorist. That's the plot of the movie Face Off. Shani! In my 23 years of doing this job, I don't think I've ever been involved in a bigger waste of time. That's not sounding like a compliment. You know, I just, oh man. Did you drop this? Get out. Well, I think that went pretty well, don't you? No, I don't. Look, man, I really want to thank you for setting it up, Shani. <laughs> Why are you trying to bribe me? Just thought that maybe I could have an expanded role with the Leafs. Co-president, how does that sound? Doesn't sound too good. I can feel you thinking about it. Not gonna think about it. If you want one of these, you'll think about it. Don't you walk away from me, Shanahan.